Hello, welcome to NeoScribe. According to a study done by the McKinsey Global Institute, AI and robotics will replace an estimated 800 million jobs around the world by 2030. On the other hand, many experts believe that in many instances, automation will replace tasks more so than completely replacing jobs. Additionally, supporting the technology behind automation will add many jobs as well. But regardless of your viewpoint, AI and robotics will drastically change how goods and services are provided in the future. So this is the first video of a new series that aims to uncover what the automated future will be like. And today, we're going to explore the food services industry, starting with the startup Spice. Spice was founded by four robotics-obsessed engineers out of MIT who teamed up with the Michelin-starred chef Daniel Ballad. And the company recently opened their first restaurant in Boston. The restaurant centers around seven incredible iron chefs, not the Bobby Flay Masaharu Morimoto variety. I'm talking about seven robotic walks. First, a team of cooks prepare the ingredients overnight. Then when the restaurant is open for business, orders are placed on snazzy touchscreens, activating the ingredient delivery system that automatically allocates ingredients from the hoppers to the walks. The meals are tumbled, cooked, and seared at 232 degrees Celsius for up to three minutes and then laid onto bowls for a quick garnish ready to serve. Then the walks are automatically sanitized with hot water jets between each meal. Look at these colorful, fancy-looking meals. They seem pretty reasonable for $7.50 each. Let's see, they have the Korean, Thai, Indian... Wait, where's the American? Now we're talking. Anyway, in September, Spice secured $21 million in funding, which will be used to expand to more locations in the East Coast. Hopefully one opens near me, it would be cool to see the robotic kitchen in action. Now let's move on to San Francisco to another startup called Creator. Creator launched its first restaurant back in September after eight years of developing the Creator robot. The robot is an incredible burger making machine stocked with 350 sensors, 50 actuators, and 20 computers. The restaurant is equipped with two robots and each fully automated machine has an output capacity of 120 burgers per hour. Each burger is fully created from scratch by the machine, including prep work such as grinding fresh meat into patties and cutting up the fixings like tomatoes and onions. Once orders are placed, buns are pushed through a compressed air tube onto an elevator on the side of the machine. The buns are sliced, buttered, and toasted, and then they glide along a conveyor belt as fresh ingredients are added. It's a 30 second process from start to finish, producing a high quality burger for a very reasonable $6. All in all, the Creator robot is an impressive, sleek-looking machine, and I can't wait to see how things develop down the road. Now, let's turn our attention to another burger-making robot called Flippy, developed and sold by Miso Robotics, based out of Pasadena, California. Flippy is an AI-driven robot that serves as a robotic kitchen assistant. With its deep learning software, Flippy is capable of learning from its surroundings and can acquire new skills over time. Flippy works in conjunction with the Miso AI system, which serves as the robot's brain. And together, they form a cloud-based learning platform. Flippy is equipped with thermal scanners, and Miso AI is equipped with cameras and computer vision programming. Flippy is able to detect when patties are placed on the grill and monitor each patty in real time throughout the cooking process. On top of that, Flippy knows when to switch between a spatula for raw meat and one for cooked meat. I like how Flippy slides the patty onto the bun with swagger. I haven't seen something enjoy flipping burgers this much since Spongebob. <laughs> anyway, not only can Flippy man the grill, it can also work the fryer. And with its deep learning software, Miso Robotics claims that Flippy can be trained to help with almost any dull, dirty, or dangerous task in a commercial kitchen, whether it's frank chicken, cutting vegetables, or final plating. Flippy debuted in March 2017 at Cali Burger in Pasadena, California, but had some difficulties with implementation, but it came back in 2018 where it now cooks between 500 and 1,000 burgers a day. 2018 was a good year for Flippy as it found a summer job at Dodger Stadium as a frying assistant where it cooks chicken and tater tots. On top of that, Walmart started testing Flippy at its Culinary and Innovation Center in Arkansas. The company hopes to implement Flippy in Walmart delis across the country to perform mundane and repetitive tasks such as frying food. I wonder what 2019 brings for the robot. 
the way things are going, I might have to keep an eye out for Miso Robotics IPO. Now let's move on to another robot called Sally, developed by Chowbotics, based out of Redwood City, California. Sally is a 3 by 3 foot futuristic robotic vending machine that can create made-to-order customizable 8 component salads in under a minute. Anyway, it's restocked with enough food to create 50 to 100 meals depending on the output distribution, and it's restocked daily to maintain freshness. Sally holds 22 different ingredients stored in sleek airtight canisters in a refrigerated environment. These options allow for 1,000 different combinations. And no matter what combination, Sally will provide calorie count in real time to ensure precise portions. Additionally, Sally software monitors and logs temperatures every 15 minutes to ensure top quality of the ingredients. It also tracks and analyzes user consumption in order to help forecast menu planning, which maximizes sales and reduces waste. The company recently raised $11 million, which will go towards expanding what Sally can make. They are already testing out Sally's new capabilities, which now includes grain bowls, yogurt bowls, and even ethnic cuisines such as Mexican, Mediterranean, Chinese, and more. Sally Machines has sprung up in various cafes in California, and Chowbotics hopes to bring them in many cafeterias, hotels, and food courts across the country in the coming years. Alright, we've seen robots making exotic food, burgers, and salad. Now let's move on to a pizza-making robot called Dobot. Dobot is developed by ABB, however, it is utilized by Zoom, based out of Mountain View, California. Zoom has filed over 1,700 patents in order to create an automated food service platform and aim to revolutionize the industry. The platform is designed to cook meals en route to customers once ordered through an app. This allows food to be delivered as fresh as possible. Additionally, the platform allows companies to be able to reach customers at a much farther radius, which saves money associated with having additional buildings. The platform is based on a centralized commissary where food is prepped and then loaded onto delivery trucks. Turning our attention back to Dobot, it can press dough and spread sauce much faster than a human can. Then Zoom added two other ABB robots tasked with adding and removing pizzas from an 800 degree oven. Between the three robots, a full rack of pizzas can be prepared in under five minutes and Zoom has caught the attention of the Japanese conglomerate SoftBank, who recently invested $750 million in the company. The money will be used to expand and solidify the technology behind their automated platform with the hopes of providing it to other companies. If things go according to plan, there will someday be a plethora of automated food delivery options available at our fingertips through apps on our smartphones. So these restaurants and robots that we covered today give us a glimpse of the future of the food services industry. Spice automates repetitive tasks like taking orders and cooking the meals. They still employ people to prep the food, keep the hoppers stocked, garnish meals, and serving customers various needs. Flippy automates specific repetitive tasks like flipping burgers and managing the fryer and it supposedly learns new skills over time, so perhaps Flippy will be managing kitchens in 10 years like Chef Ramsay. Can we work together as a team? Yes, yes chef. chef! Anyway, aside from Chowbotic's Sally, it appears that automation in the food services industry isn't completely replacing jobs. It's taking over repetitive tasks that aren't enjoyable to perform. Unless you're a sea sponge who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Alright, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.